Hello, and thank you for your interest in participating in a clinical research study that will involve a lumbar puncture. Our work here in the Alzheimer Clinical and Translational Research Unit at Mass General focuses on how the brain changes during and before disease takes hold. Our goal is to eradicate Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and other terrible degenerative diseases of the brain. As uniquely human disorders, we can only do this by partnering with people affected by these diseases in order to learn how the brain is affected so that we can identify the right treatment for the right person at the right time. I've had two lumbar punctures and they, they were both just totally opposite from everything I'd heard before. It was a good experience. I had my first lumbar puncture uh, about eight years ago and the reason I had to have it was because I was having signs and symptoms of cognition issues and the doctor wanted to check uh, the spinal fluid um, for potential uh, dementia or Alzheimer's. The lumbar puncture, or LP, is how we obtain a sample of spinal fluid for analysis in the lab. In spinal fluid, we can measure thousands of different proteins and other molecules released by brain cells. Since we cannot access brain tissue directly in a living human, measuring the levels of these proteins in spinal fluid gives us an excellent snapshot of what is happening in the brain at the molecular level at different stages of aging or disease. A lumbar puncture is a very safe procedure that routinely takes 15 or 20 minutes to perform. In research studies, one or two tablespoons of spinal fluid is collected from the lower back using a very thin needle, thinner than those used to draw blood. The needle insertion site is several inches below the end of the spinal cord, so there's no risk of damage to the spinal cord. Before coming in for your LP, we'll take a sample of blood and perform a brief physical exam to ensure it's safe for you to proceed. On the day of your visit, you'll be asked to wear a loose-fitting shirt and you won't need to undress for the procedure. A licensed physician or nurse practitioner will meet you in our clinical office to prepare you. The clinician will explain the procedure and answer any questions you may have. When you're ready to begin, you'll be asked to sit on a stool and lean over an exam table. You'll rest your head and upper body on a pillow. The clinician will feel your hips and back to find the spot where the needle should be inserted. After they've identified the right location, they'll wash the area with iodine to ensure it's clean and sterile. The clinician will then insert a small needle into your back to numb the skin and soft tissue. This is very similar to when Novocaine is used at the dentist. The clinician will then insert a thin needle in between the vertebrae. You may feel pressure from the needle, but you shouldn't feel any pain. It, it was just a normal procedure. It was almost like getting blood drawn. It, it was not, I didn't feel like it was invasive in any form at all. The only thing I felt the whole time was when the needle first hit with Novocaine. And after that, I didn't feel anything. Having the doctor tell me each step of the way of what they were doing uh, helped ease my anxiety and just let me know being, being better prepared as to what was going to happen and when. No soreness, no pain, no headaches, no nothing. Um, this, for, the, for the second one, I had a dull headache. Nothing that was incapacitating. It's just dull. Just wear that. Eh, it's there. Don't. It don't, doesn't. It felt more not normal than it did hurt. Once the needle is in the right place, the clear spinal fluid will begin to drip out, and the clinician will collect the fluid in a sterile tube. Once the sample of spinal fluid is collected, the clinician will remove the needle clean your back from the iodine wash and put a band-aid where the needle was. You'll then sit up slowly and be guided to lie down for 10 or 15 minutes to rest and drink some water. After your spinal fluid is collected, it's brought to our laboratory for analysis. A portion is also stored for future research with promising new lab tests as they come up. Using specialized equipment and assays in the lab, we're able to measure the levels of many proteins and other molecules in your spinal fluid. This teaches us how the biology of the brain relates to the signs and symptoms of disease. Data collected from these research studies will help us improve our ability to diagnose and track different stages of Alzheimer's and other diseases affecting the brain. This will help us develop new therapies to treat and hopefully cure Alzheimer's disease and other diseases that cause dementia. Being able to get involved in research gave me back that sense of 
being able to have some control over what was going on. Um, at least I, I had a say so in, in, to what was going to happen. It was something I could do about it. I, I didn't want to just sit by and let the disease take its, you know, take its hold. I want to. That's not just who I am. I'm, I'm, I want to get involved. There would, there would have never, never been any of the cures that came about had it not been for research. I mean, you look, look at how many things we have cured that you don't see anymore. Something's here that can cure the rest of this stuff. We just got to take part, make it happen. It's not just about you. It's about everyone else around you. It's about your kids, your grandkids. It's about your neighbors. It's about your community, the town you live in. It's bigger than you. I want you to really commit to getting involved in research. It'll change you, and it could possibly change the world after you. As a research participant, you are our partner to better understand complicated brain diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative disorders. We're enormously grateful for your partnership and our goal to achieve better diagnosis and treatment, both for prevention and cure. I hope you found this video helpful to make your participation as easy as possible and to realize how valuable your partnership is in our work towards prevention and cure.